What's up everyone, welcome to the very first Premiere Pro tutorial, you can expect a lot more of these. I had a few shots that I thought was a really good chance to show you guys how to achieve this really awesome orange and teal color grade Taylor Cut Films does so well. So we'll be really focusing on getting those really rich oranges, the skin tones go a little more on the red side, and yeah, then those really nice teal blues. So if we get straight into it and get one of our clips up. Go with this one and I'll apply the preset to the adjustment layer over all of our clips. So if we go to creative and Taylor Cut Films sells his presets now which is awesome but as you guys know there's a lot of work after you apply presets to get the look you want. So I'm going to apply his teal preset and as you can see it's still not what we want. So even if we drop the intensity, it's getting there, but there's still a lot of work we want to do. So if we go to comparison mode, we'll try to match these up the best we can. So let's start with basic correction. And I have gone through a lot of these settings, so I am pretty familiar with what they are. I'll try to explain to you why I chose these. But yeah, right, so we need to bring up that exposure a little. little bit of contrast uh, highlights need to come up shadows definitely need to come up Take the whites down a touch. And the blacks down a touch. Okay, uh, saturation can stay there. If we go to our curves now, so we want really rich colors, and I think the best way to get rich colors is with the curves, especially the color curves. So I'm going to do a little bit of an S curve in the red, green, and blue channels. So, especially in the shadows. So I'm just going to really do it for the shadows. And then I'm going to give a bit of extra to the blues here, into the midtones and highlights. And we're looking better. So I want to do a few other things. Uh, here's a very vibrant looking uh, shots. So I'm going to add a bit of exposure to those mid-tones 
just a little bit like that. And if we go back to creative, so we're looking, our contrast looks a little too harsh, so faded film's a really good idea. You can see if you look into those blacks in the darker areas, a bit of fade going on. Um, we'll chuck in sharpen. Bit of vibrance. He does tend to have pretty vibrant colors. And I will take saturation down a tad. Right. Um, now we want to balance out our colors a little. So we'll have a flick through. It's looking pretty good. If we look at our before and after, I think it looks too warm right throughout the image at the moment. If we get rid of the comparison mode now, so what I want to do is take away a lot of this warmth in the highlights. So what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do that is coming over here to highlights and putting some teal in there. As you can see, the road really changed color there. It's not so warm. I think that looks a lot better. Maybe put a tad more. And we are looking a tad green now. So if I go back to curves, green, might just pull out either in the shadows, pull out a touch of green, even possibly in the mid-tones as well. can see there's quite a bit of green in the darker areas. I think we're looking pretty good though. So there's just one thing that I don't really like about this now is if we go to this shot uh, we've got a nice teal and orange going on but I think these blues in the mountains down here are just a little too much for me. So, so if we come to this tool here, I just want to take away a little bit of the deep blues in here. I like the teals, but it gets a bit purple and blue and saturated in the darker areas. So if I just make a few points...
and just pull down on the deep blues. And I might even want slightly more teals. Right. For this shot, just the shots and not in the adjustment layer. I want to match it up a little. I think it's looking pretty good if we go back to uh, comparison mode. Maybe even more blues in the highlights. And that road, this road would become much cooler. Yeah, and that looks much better. So yeah, we've got those greens going on in the shadows. A little bit there. I think that's looking pretty good. If I show you, compare against that one. So we could go a bit deeper with this shot if we wanted. But I actually quite like this shot and I want it to really pop. So I might chuck up the whites in that one. And then now would be the time to just go through and get all your images looking, looking good with each other. But I think that looks really, really good. Really happy with these. And yeah, I think that's about it, guys. You guys can comment down below what you guys like about this, who I should do a tutorial on, and what you guys think. And yeah, I guess I will we'll watch this through, and I will be catching you guys in the next one. And make sure you check out the presets if you're really liking these tutorials. Those will be really helpful to you guys if you like these tutorials so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one and i will be coming out with my own LUTs very shortly so stick around for those actually this shot looks a little too green so what you can do say you can bump up purple just a touch take out a little bit of those greens so yeah thanks for watching guys i will catch you in the next one cheers